started something new today. It's been coming for a while after a customer request and I had to learn how to do it uh, and find the right materials to do it to make it last while. So I've added this. Just a little scale on there so that you can count distance, rotation, uh, how many turns, how many fractions of turns and just add a little line right there so that you can have a you know a reference of how many turns you go in so if you go on one side and you go in you know from say uh, one and you've advanced the guide in all the way to ten then when you flip over on the other side and you back out to one again you can count so that you know when you've reached ten again I put one on mine I haven't tried it out yet but I do the same thing as this. I use a digital readout here. But that's kind of expensive. This is a less expensive a much less expensive method. That's the digital readout there. Alright, so I'm gonna measure to see how many I'm gonna use the digital readout to check this. To get an idea of what distance it goes in between each of those numbers so people have an idea. Go ahead and zero that. Right, so it looks like each each dist each space between there is about five thousandths of an inch travel. Go from 10 to 11. So it moved in five thousandths of an inch. Go from 11 to 12. Oh, almost there. Not quite lined up, just a little bit off. Oh, there we go. Alright, so it's at uh, 10. So each spacing is five thousandths. And so there's a two and a half thousandths mark in between there, and there's several other marks that are too small to see, for me anyway. So a person could, you know, split the difference and go one thousandth, or one point two five, point zero zero one two five, point zero zero two five, that sort of thing. All right, now this is just a sticker. It's installed like a piece of tape, but what it is, it's a polyester sticker. These are used, and it's laser printed, so I bought a sheet of stickers and then printed them on there. Now it's a little bit long, and so about two tick marks past the 14, you cut it off, and then it lays just about perfect right around there. You can see where the 14 stops right at the right where the one measurement starts. Now you do want to decrease this with some alcohol or some sort of solvent and let it dry off, you know, and make sure you get all the grease off so that it sticks well. And then I just stick one end on there and as I turn it, I just kind of press it down and use this face of the knob to line things up so that when I come around, I'm straight on. So now, from now on, as a standard feature, the guides will go out with these on them. 